it really feels like a swimsuit. Really not comfortable at all. It goes very sheer. A really nice pair of seamless biker shorts. Honestly feel pretty cheap. And I just love how the straps are adjustable. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I am bringing you another activewear review. This one is on the brand Bow and Tee. So Bow and Tee is the activewear brand of Opali, which I believe is a UK based, just like fashion company, like regular clothes, but then they kind of branched off into activewear. And I'm not really sure how new they are, but I definitely feel like they're up and coming a couple influencers have started wearing their stuff, but it's definitely not like huge yet, at least on my Instagram feed. I feel like they have pretty unique stuff, definitely bold and bright colors. They actually just launched this really cute like color block collection, which I feel like a lot of their stuff definitely isn't for everyone. It's very bold and a lot of them have very mini little shorts, which I don't feel like a lot of people go for those, but you know what? There's something out there for everyone. If you like my activewear reviews, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. So I got a bunch of stuff probably too much. I really hope that they have decent returns because I can't keep all this. We got a little tie-dye. I got some of their new floral stuff. Then I got some of their seamless, really bright colored stuff. So we have a good range. They're about a mid price range, like 30 to $40 for a sports bra, $50 for leggings, but they do have a 15% off discount for students on student beans. Take advantage of that if you're a student. So without further ado, let's start reviewing. So first of all, everything came in these little boxes. I got two of them and they're kind of like this holographic little like shininess on the side. The box is cool, but they put it in like a plastic bag. So it kind of ripped through by the time this got to me and and one of the boxes actually like totally broke. So I thought it was a little unnecessary. They also lined the box with like tissue paper um, and everything comes in its own individually wrapped plastic. So it's a lot of packaging, which I think that they could have minimized that. I was a little unsure about sizing. So I think I got a mix of smalls and mediums. That's usually like the two sizes and kind of in between. So I feel like this was definitely one of the more popular tops that they had. This is the Evolve Seamless Asymmetrical Crop. Some people like to call things like this crop tops. Some call them sports bras. I personally think it's more of a sports bra. The seamless material is actually pretty thick and sturdy, which is good for a sports bra, but might be a little stiff on the leggings. So we'll see. So this one is asymmetrical. It has a tank strap and a spaghetti strap, and it's actually meant to be worn like this. Like the way it's sewn, the strap is supposed to go like up and down, but people have been wearing them like this. And they've even been wearing them on Bow and T's website like this, but it's not sewn to be like that in my opinion. Opinion. If you follow me on Instagram, we've been ranting about this trend of putting both straps on one side of your shoulder lately. And it's just like a weird trend to me, but this bra I think is somewhat doable with this. It doesn't look totally weird. Some people have been doing it with like Alpha Lee sports bras, Gymshark sports bras. I just don't get it. So this was $40. I got it in a size small. It does have removable cut pads. And here is a close up of the fabric. It's actually a pretty thick seamless material and the cut pads are actually decently thick as well, but let's try it on. All right, so here's a sports bra. I am wearing it with one strap over each shoulder first. I'll show you how it is with both over one side, but you can't really just like pull this strap and be like, hello, I'm gonna go over my head. That's not gonna work. You're probably gonna rip the sports bra. So I have to like take it off and do that. So we'll just go over a few things first. Actually, maybe I'll do that first because this strap actually seems kind of loose. Maybe it is meant to go over, but I saw on the Bow and Tee Instagram page both ways. First, I saw it this way. Then I saw it wearing the other way. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but I think you can wear it either way. Okay, let me do that real quick. So here the sports bra is like this and the strap definitely feels less loose like this, but this is actually like really not comfortable at all. It's like cutting in here and that just really wouldn't be very comfortable for working out. So actually I didn't really like the sports bra either way you could wear it. This definitely isn't my favorite style. I would definitely say true to size because this is my normal size small and if anything, it's like a tiny bit big. I wouldn't say it's like, I would size down but a little nervous for the medium I got now. I really like the color and I think the material is really nice. In another style, the sports bra would be great because the fabric's really thick, stretchy, and supportive. Even though this bra is like not the greatest in terms of support, I would say it's still solid medium support. I'm really not jiggling around a lot. And you can just tell in the back that the strap is kind of pulling over. That's what makes me think that this was not meant to be worn like this, but everyone seems to be wearing it like this. I also feel like I can see the cup pads a little bit. I can't see them in my little like viewfinder on my camera, but I can in the mirror. Be interested to see if I can see that one edited. Thing. but this is kind of a lighter color. Okay, yeah, I've literally worn this for maybe five minutes now, and that is the redness I'm getting from the strap. So I don't know how people are wearing it like this to the gym, but would not recommend. We have our first guest of the day, Miss Peach. What are your thoughts? I think she sees something outside. All right, you can go. Hey, 
And these I am very excited about. These are the Unleash Seamless Cycling Shorts. These were only $36. That's cheaper than the sports bra. I got these in a size medium. Usually I wear a medium in shorts. I'm a little worried about the waist being big, but I at least wanted to get them on for the video. It's the same seamless material that actually has a decent amount of stretch to it. Probably gonna be pretty compressive. Oh, the inside's actually very soft. So this is the inside of the fabric and it's not like super brush, but it is actually really soft. And I feel like that'll be nice. I can already tell these aren't gonna be like the most opaque in terms of shorts. They kind of remind me of a softer version of the Tala leggings in the Tala shorts, but I think that they're gonna be a little better than the Tala shorts, just cause those were really constrictive on my thighs. Something I don't absolutely love about these is they have a giant bow and tee. I've been saying bow and tee, but it might be bow plus tee. I'm not really sure. Anyways, they have a giant bow plus T logo all the way down the side of the leg. I'm not a huge logo person, so it's a little much for me personally. It's also just one of those like kind of press on logos. So I wonder how they would hold up over time. It does seem to be stretching with the fabric, but you just never know with logos like this. All right, so here are the shorts and you know what? I actually like them. So I was really expecting these to be really constricting and just really not stretchy, but they actually have a lot of stretch to them. And I actually think they're pretty nice. I have been totally obsessed with biker shorts recently. And I wouldn't say these are like my like number one new biker short, but they're pretty solid. So I did get these in a size medium and they are just a little bit big in the waist. So I should have just gone with my normal size small. So I'd say they're compressing on my thighs a little bit down here, but they're really not like cutting in. Like the Tala shorts I had were really cutting in and felt really tight. These actually still have a lot of stretch in the bottom of the band, which I feel like is kind of rare to find on seamless shorts. So not cutting into my thighs, big fan of that. They do just have this like giant like gusset <laughs> that goes down the leg. So it definitely helps with kind of dispersing any extra fabric around here. Sometimes with seamless shorts, you can kind of get a little too much outline of this region, but I feel like these are thick enough that that's not a problem. And they're really not feeling too tight when I squat down like this. So uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm liking them. The fabric is pretty thick, so they should be cellulite friendly. Also, I can't take off these tags or else I can't return them. So, <laughs> sorry. They're about a medium compression overall. I wouldn't say they're super compressive. Um, I also can't really tell because the waist is a little big. So we'll see with the leggings and the size small. This logoing is a little bit much for me, but if it doesn't bother you, then it's not really an issue. I feel like the waistband comes down a little bit in the back and there is a little possibility for some unibutt in these because they are just a regular seamless back. There's nothing really to like like accentuate the glutes or anything. So I'm just gonna give them a medium on the booty scale. These shorts also come in a shorter version, but I'm personally off with bike shorts. These are actually a really nice pair of seamless biker shorts. Next, I got the Strength Seamless Plunge Neck Sports Bra. I got this in a size medium that probably is gonna be a little big for me, but I did just wanna test out sizing. And what I liked about this one is it has nice like thick straps in the front. So I feel like this one might be decently supportive and it has adjustable straps in the back. And I feel like I don't see a lot of adjustable straps in, especially in brands like this that don't really look like they're trying to have super supportive sports bras, you know? So I liked that they had that. Little bow and tee logo in the back. And I feel like this is just gonna be a flattering cut and this orange color is very pretty. I don't know if orange really looks good on me. I don't think it's really my color, but I try. And our second guest of the evening, it's Mr. Pinto. How you doing, buddy? He says, come play Springs with me. Okay, you can go play out there. Thank you. So this is the second sports bra and I definitely like this one a lot more. Keep in mind, this is a size medium, so it is a little big on me. I wouldn't say the band down here is like huge, but I could definitely use a little more compression. So definitely true to size. I sized up just in case. I like how the straps are nice and thick. The scoop detail is really nice. I don't feel like it's too much cleavage and we're actually getting a good amount of side coverage. There's no side boob spillage. It's kind of hard to tell support because it's a little too big for me. So it's probably about a medium, maybe a high support in smaller cup sizes. And I just love how the straps are adjustable. I think that's great. I don't think enough brands do adjustable straps. I don't always love adjustable straps because sometimes when you're lying on your back, like working out, they can kind of cut in a little bit, but you know, for the most part, I like them. Also, don't worry about my bruises. This is from my Tdap vaccine an entire week ago at this point and I still have a bruise. All right, so I'm a fan of the sports bra, but definitely go true to size. I would like to know how many brands have something called Energy Seamless at this point, because we all know that Gymshark had it first. And I feel like people just recycle names of leggings and collections all the time. Like, can we not come out with new names? Please don't call your leggings Energy Seamless. 
in my head when I think of energy seamless, I think of the Gymshark eyelet leggings. So these are basically just a full length version of the biker shorts. I'm actually surprised at the amount of stretch that these have. Sometimes seamless fabrics like this can be a little stiff. And honestly, I thought they were gonna be a little stiff, but it has a nice thick ribbed waistband. I got these in a size small. And the crotch seams actually look pretty good. Sometimes with seamless leggings, the crotch seams can be I don't know, a little restricting and I have to say they don't feel like super stretchy. So we'll test that out in the try on. But at least so far, the seams look pretty good in terms of quality. They don't look really like, you know, like they're gonna fall apart. All right, so here are the leggings. These are in a size small. I would definitely say true to size on these. If you're in between, I might even size down. They're honestly really, really stretchy. I wouldn't say I have extra fabric in the waist. I could honestly even have a little bit more compression. I wouldn't go to an extra small, but if you're in between, I think I would choose a smaller size. They're honestly pretty basic in terms of seamless leggings. They just have kind of a thicker ribbed waistband. I'd say overall, I'm really only getting a medium compression, even in the waistband. I could have used a little more compression in the waistband, to be honest. It's really not compressing me a ton. I still do think these would probably be cellulite friendly because the fabric is pretty thick. Giant logo down the side. I could just really see this peeling off over time. It's not embroidered into the fabric. And I feel like if you're gonna do a logo like this, it should really be embroidered just so you can ensure that it lasts a long time. So there's no front seam, so we're not getting any camel. There's really no gathering either, but you are getting a little bit of single camel, you know? May not be for leg day, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. You'll see in a second. Again, I would just say medium on the booty scale. I don't think they're doing a ton, but they're definitely not squishing me down. This fabric should actually be decent for performance. It's just one of those classic seamless knit fabrics. It's a little bit thick, so I wouldn't consider this a summer legging. Shouldn't get any pilling in this. You might show a little sweat. Okay, doing a quick sit test. It's really not cutting into my waist at all. Fold over a little bit. I think it's pretty good for the sit test. That's it for these. I wouldn't say I'm like super impressed. Like these are the best seamless leggings I've ever tried. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, and even in a squat like this, it's a little tighter than the shorts because there are more seams, but I wouldn't say that I feel like it's like about to rip like some seamless leggings do. And before we move on to the floral, I wanted to test out these sweatpants. So these are the unwind full length cuffed joggers in tie dye. And this is like my favorite color combo of tie dye, like a kind of blue, white and pink situation. I just think it's like very like cotton candy, super cute. And these look so fun. I got these in a size medium. Usually I go up to a medium in joggers just for a little more space, but these have that like thick elastic waistband. They do have a little drawstring and they're just pretty classic joggers. Tiny little bow and tee label right there. And these do have that classic little like elastic cuff at the bottom of the joggers so very much like a boyfriend slouchy jogger these are so fun and they are super super brushed and soft on the inside like sweatshirt material here's the inside of the joggers super brushed super soft i'm raving about them and i haven't even tried them on yet all right we got the sweatpants and they match perfectly with the pink bra so i think that's super cute not that i love this style of bra so i'm a little surprised i sized up to a medium in the sweatpants and i could even go for a large usually i expect this style of sweatpant to be a little oversized and I already sized up for my legging size. I definitely preferred these smalls in the bottoms. I wouldn't say they're tight on my thighs, but they're snug and same with my calves. So if you truly want an oversized fit, like even go up two sizes. I think I could do a large in these. I actually really like the super thick chunky waistband. They also have these nice little metal like aglets on the end of these. Are they called aglets if they're not on shoelaces? Shout out to Phineas and Ferb for educating us all about that. But it even says bow and tee on them. So that's a little note. And I would say in the medium, the waistband actually fits me really well. It's not even baggy, so. These run a little small. There's not much to say about sweatpants, but these are super cozy, super soft, and I definitely like them. I just would prefer my size up, and I am just really a fan of this little tie-dye print. I think it's so cute. They're definitely expensive. They're like $50 sweatpants, but honestly, everyone is charging so much for sweatpants like this now. It's a little bit rude because Champion used to make these for like $10 at Walmart, and now they're all sold out because everyone is like thinking that Champion's like expensive now. Okay, now I'm moving on to the florals. I think this is called like the slinky collection or something, but basically it's just like a very delicate little kind of like floral print. It kind of reminds me of like something I wore as like a little kid from like a 
gap or something, but in like a nostalgic, cute, fun way that I actually kind of like. It comes in a couple different colors. I got this blue one. I just am a big fan of blue. So this is the Thrive Slinky Ruched V-neck sports bra. And my first impression of this is it kind of reminds me of a swimsuit in terms of material. And there are no cut pads. I have not been having good luck with bras lately in my reviews because they just like don't put cut pads in. And I'm like, listen, I need more support than that. So I got this in a size small, it was $34. It's a little spaghetti strap and it goes into a little kind of Y detail in the back, has a little ruching in the front and the bottom is a kind of thick elastic band and the bow and tee is very subtle on these. So I do like that the branding is a little more subtle. So here is a little pattern detail, just a very delicate floral. I feel like this isn't for everyone, but I don't know, it's a little nostalgic for me. All right, so this bra, it's not for me. So the pattern when you stretch it out just goes very sheer. And while I don't think it's actually see-through, I just feel like that just looks a little, it just looks a little cheap in my opinion. So it has this little ruched detail in the middle, which is cute, little V detail. And I just really don't like that it doesn't have any cut pads. Um, like you should at least have the option of cut pads because people can always take them out. But when you don't put any cut pads in, I just feel like I'm not really getting any shape out of the sports bra and it kind of feels like a training bra. The band at the bottom of this is very thick and pretty tight. So I would definitely say true to size on this one. I would not size down. It does have a nice open back, but this fabric doesn't feel great to me. It feels a little bit cheap. It's not my favorite. This one's not a winner for me. In terms of support, this one has like a light support. Yeah, not even light to medium. This is pretty light support. I am covered up on the sides, so it shouldn't be any side boob spillage. And it's definitely holding me in at least. So that's a plus. Next, I got the Flourish Slinky High Waisted Shorts, also in blue. And I'm gonna be honest, this style of shorts is really not my thing. They're super short and yeah, they have those little ties on the side. Anyways, I got these in a size medium again. The seamless shorts definitely felt better quality. These ones do have like a little band at the top and I'm just not feeling like this fabric is gonna be the most like durable. Like it just doesn't really feel like a workout material. It really feels like a swimsuit and it has these little side ties so you can like pull them up and like kind of ruch the side of the shorts, which to me, I don't know, that's always kind of looked cheap in my opinion. And it also kind of looks like shorts that I wore in like dance or gymnastics when I was a kid, which the pattern I think is cute, nostalgic, but that I feel like I have to move on from. Like I don't really need any other reason to look like a child. I already have a baby face. Okay, but this might be someone's style. So I don't want to say that it's like ugly. It's just not my thing. And these are like very short, like two inch inseam. These are booty shorts. So, all right. So here are the very, very itty bitty shorts. <laughs> They're still covering my butt and everything, so it's not horrible. I definitely feel like in a workout, my thighs would eat these shorts right up. But if you like very short shorts, you know, these these are short. So I just did a little tie on this side. I didn't actually tighten up this little like scrunch detail. But if you want to tighten it up, it can come up kind of like that and kind of have a little like scooped detail. So I'll do that on this side. There you go. I'm just really not a fan of this, but I will say I'm glad that they only had this and didn't also have a scrunch. A scrunch on these plus this would be like way too much in my opinion. Okay. So I have to say for these, so luckily they're not causing any camel or anything. They do have a front seam. I just feel like they honestly feel pretty cheap. They just feel like a very low quality fabric. They have a top seam. The seamless stuff felt like so much better than this. So I'm really not a huge fan. The fabric just feels very thin. If feels like a swimsuit. Like I swear to God, I don't really feel like it's doing me a ton of favors in the glute area. Definitely just a medium on the booty scale. Not, not really a huge fan of the design, but also not a huge fan of the quality in general. And lastly, we have the Transform full length slinky leggings. So these feel very similar to the shorts. Okay, the shorts did not have a booty scrunch, but these do have a scrunch. Very subtle though. They are full length. They have a very slight little scrunch detail in the back. And these also have a little band at the top. So I'm not super pumped about that. So let's try these on. And in terms of fit, they're actually okay. I feel like I don't have any extra fabric anywhere. They just do have this band at the top and it's actually cutting in a decent amount. So that could cause some muffin top problems. Overall, I'd say they're about a medium compression. I wouldn't say they're overall holding me in really well. They don't really feel like high performance workout leggings. They're kind of more on the sleek performance material side, but not shiny 
but they really just do feel like a swimsuit. They have a front seam, but camel really isn't an issue. I'm just not a fan of the material, how they fit. I don't think the scrunch is really doing anything. I think it's just kind of sitting over my glutes and not really doing much enhancing. Honestly, it looks like a little weird in my opinion. They are full length though. This is patterned, so you will get some cellulite coverage. This fabric is probably also pretty squat wicking. I feel like the seamless line did a lot better, felt like a lot better quality. This little floral line just isn't doing it for me. We're also gonna do a sit test. We have our guest peach here and here we're sitting and yeah, it like really cuts in when you're sitting because the top band is pretty tight. So I'm getting muffin toppage and it's just like not the most flattering when sitting, so. All right guys, so that's it for the review. We have Miss Peach here, say hello. How you doing? Overall, I was most excited about the seamless stuff and that definitely won me over. The floral stuff really just wasn't great. It just felt cheap and it's definitely not worth like 40 to $50. Definitely some hits and misses. I would totally be open to trying any of their new collections because they are coming out with new stuff. So hopefully we see improvements over time. I was a little bummed about the sizing of the joggers because I was kind of planning on keeping them, but now I just feel like the medium's too small for me. If you have any other brands you'd like me to review, please leave them in the comments below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want more legging reviews. We got some fun brands coming up, an Australian brand that has been very highly requested. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!